uh, we won't get changed then. And we are concerned about the dialogue, the narrative, the dynamic. So last time, 26 debates on TV, 140 million people in poverty, 43.5% of the country, not one single debate was focused on poverty. Not one. We have less voting rights today in terms of enforcement than we had 50-some years ago. That's impacting black people, white people, everybody. Not one full debate on systemic racism and voter suppression. We've identified five interlocking injustices through our deep empirical studies in this book I'm going to give you and in this budget. That, that for the full kind of transformation we need in this country, we must address systemic, and I want to you hear this word correct, policy racism. We're not talking about how you feel about me in, my, in your heart and what words you call me. Policy racism. And we've identified policy racism as voter suppression, immigrant injustice, injustice toward our First Nation people, the, uh, uh, mass incarceration and resegregation in high poverty schools. Secondly, that is connected to poverty, of which poor people of color have the highest concentration, but white people have the highest in raw numbers. That's connected to ecological devastation. Four million people, for instance, get up every morning, can buy unleaded gas, can't buy unleaded water, so forth and so on. That's connected to our gross militarism and war economy, where we know if we cut $350 billion from the war economy, we could still have the most powerful military and still be paying more than China, North Korea, Iran, and, and Russia combined. And then we got this gross moral, immoral narrative, distorted narrative that suggests if you're against gay people and against Gets gay people against women's rights, for guns, for taxes, and somehow that's a great moral position. This is the question. Are you, is your campaign willing to go to the powers that be, because they're going to be 26, maybe 30, I don't know, Joy, and say to the media. Is Joy running? I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> to say to the media and the corporate execs, my campaign is demanding that we have at least one. We need more than one. We need two or three full debates that address the issue of systemic poverty, systemic racism, ecological devastation, militarism together, not separately, so that America can understand how these interlocking injustices are harming not just a party, but the very heart and soul of our democracy. And if you are, then how are you willing to do that? I'm glad. I, I, I am. I, I, I think we should. Uh, and I'm, well, I'm happy to talk to the DNC or anybody else to say that we should do it. You know what, there was not, you mentioned there wasn't a single debate about um, poverty last time. You know what, there was not a single question asked during the presidential campaign, not a single question asked about education either. You know, which today, unfortunately, I hate to say this as somebody who was a school superintendent, our system of public education is reinforcing the income inequality that we have in America, not liberating people from it. That's a national tragedy. That's a national disgrace. So I'm all for doing that, Reverend, and I think the way you tied these things together makes a lot of sense to me. One reason why, and Joy's more of an expert on this than I am, but when I spend, watch the cable television at night, I often think to myself, and this is after I've come home from a 